The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have none other than the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Hey, Scotty, I got some advice for you. What's up? Go find yourself a dick and suck it. <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. Uh, but we got a very, very special guest. He was actually the very first guest that we ever had on this show. Very first one. Yeah. What? Back in the day, bro. Right. I didn't even know it was the first, I, yeah. the first ever guest. Yeah, very first cool. ever guest. David the Caveman Rickles. Don't I, piss him off. I was really disappointed, ah. if you recall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome to have him back. Derek couldn't make it tonight, so it's just us three, and that's yeah. okay. That's completely fine. Uh, but for those of you guys, that this is the very first time you've ever listened to this episode. This is a comedy podcast where we like to joke about the uh, current events that are going on in sports. And uh, this is also an adult podcast. We like to make very inappropriate joys, jokes by cussing and using you know loud sounds. So if that's not your thing, get the fuck out of here. You're in the wrong place. Anyways... We got a lot on the docket, man. We're going to talk a little bit about David with his upcoming fight. That's the first thing. Uh, but as we always start off with every single episode, we're going to talk about our week week recap. So, uh, yeah, Jeremy. What? How was your week, bud? Oh, phenomenal. Really? Yeah. Actually, it started off with a bang anyway. Uh, yeah? Got my father-in-law out of the fucking house. <laughs> hey, nice. Got, he, Dave, my father-in-law, had been visiting for the last week, and... Uh, well, I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, last uh, Thursday, adios, dickhead. Um, <laughs> that's that's where I stand on that. He's and big, then um, he's a big fan of the show, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, watched a couple things on Netflix. Watched a uh, documentary series about the Cecil Hotel. Oh yeah, I started watching that. Yeah, it's uh, interesting, uh-huh. to say the least. Yeah. And then we started watching this new series. I don't know if it's uh, Netflix exclusive or if they just have the reruns on there or whatever. But it's called Rain. R e i g n. That sounds gay as fuck. It's well, see, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it, it is. <laughs> what? Well, it's it's like medieval times, huh. knights and kings and queens and shit. Happy and Pride Month, everybody. The, yes. Um, <laughs> well, and see, that's the thing is uh, the the main character, is the chick who plays a young Mary Queen of Scots. Uh-huh. My wife said she's really pretty. So thank God, my wife's a fucking lesbian. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it's about time she came out. Yeah. And then uh, didn't stop her. Uh, yesterday, she took me out for Father's Day for a nice, oh, yeah. nice dinner. We went yeah. to Saltgrass. Cool. Saltgrass Steakhouse, which uh, I kept meaning to suggest that to you because you kept having a shitty time at Chester's. Yeah, I have. Yeah, go to Saltgrass. Okay. I have never fucked up a steak. Okay. Um, you know what I he, had? What's that? Grass. Grass? I didn't eat a damn thing for Father's Day. Oh, so you're rubbing you it away? in. You're kind of rubbing it in right now. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm cutting away. Okay. I have a fight this Saturday. You, um, I think you got enough, don't you? <laughs> for fuck's sake, in the game of life, you're fucking winning, dude. <laughs> Check the scoreboard. I got one. <laughs> Steak dinner yesterday. That's it. Uh, uh, you can have it. <laughs> but no, I got... I. Again, I'm going to sound like the fucking shithead old man. Mm-hmm. But God damn it. When, okay, the Saltgrass, it's not a super nice place. It's not like a black tie place or anything. Oh, okay. But it's Father's Day, and you're going to a decent restaurant. Don't dress like you're going to the fucking lake, you <laughs> assholes. <laughs> like what Dave's wearing here. Don't okay. do it. I'm talking <laughs> gym shorts, tank tops, backwards cap. <laughs> And sandals. Yeah. And I would have said something, but do you know how fucking outnumbered I would have been? <laughs> and these weren't kids. 30s and 40s. Guys, it, dress like you're going somewhere, you fucking assholes. Yeah. So my week started, uh, ended shitty. Okay. Happy uh, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, I am not a dad, so uh, but, but I do have a dad. So I went and hung out with my stepdad for Father's Day. Does uh, he know that? Yeah, he was he was there, you know. I, I mean, he had to be there, or else I wouldn't have gone. 
Um, got to hang out with a lot, a lot with family. Um, but most importantly, I uh, we got a new shirt. We have a new shirt out. Um, for those of you that uh, you act like we share a wardrobe, dickhead. Yeah, we do. Ugh, it's, it's my favorite shirt now. We have a new shirt. We have a new shirt. Like out. we went shopping together, and you yeah. and I bought a new shirt. <laughs> well, we both fit in it, you know, together. Sure. You, t- you take the left side. I take the right. Yeah, it's like that fucking horse costume. <laughs> yeah, totally it is. Uh, but no, there's the uh, the cheese or blowjobs uh, t-shirt is now in our uh, in our merch link in bio for our TikTok, so you can check that out. So you took uh, Derek's thing. I okay. took it's his, it's his thing, but you know it's. I it guess was, it's your podcast. It so you own show. it. I don't. It's our show, you dick. Don't fucking include me in this shit. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm just a permanent guest. I was actually the first guest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. Uh, anyway. I didn't have a whole lot other than that. Uh, although, just sitting here next to Dave, I can honestly tell you I'm definitely fucking out of shape. So that's uh, that's all I got. And uh, yeah, so uh, we got a guest, man. You can tell us how long. Well, whatever the fuck you want to tell, because I know you yeah. got a big fight coming up. Mm-hmm. But how was the last couple? I mean, we haven't talked to you since. Yeah, run down. Wow. Run down every wow. week since last every time week we since talked last you. time we talked. That'd be a good idea. Uh, where should I begin, folks? I don't know. How? Okay. So bare knuckle. I, I want to know, how did that go? The bare knuckle. Bare knuckle thing. Bare knuckle. Um, I loved it. Did uh-huh. you? I really did. Yeah. So if you didn't see my bare knuckle fight, you can go check it out on the bare knuckle app. But yeah, I, I beat the hell out of this guy and, um, my hands felt good. My head movement felt good. My timing felt good. Just throwing, just strictly the the sweet science of boxing it felt good honestly sure like, yeah. I, I enjoyed training that one-dimensional aspect like okay i don't have to get wrestled up uh and, and and twisted into pretzels every day you know for training and stuff like that i gotta hit the pads and i gotta hit people and that's all i had to do to get ready and i had fun yeah now okay i i didn't get to watch it um are you allowed any kind of hand wraps or is it truly bare knuckle so they wrap uh just so everyone can see they wrap up to here uh huh. You have to have full knuckle exposed. For the right? listener, he's going up to his hand. Yep. <laughs> yeah. the, the back of his hand. I'm like trying to stopping, show the camera. <laughs> stopping short of the finger. Well, not everybody watches. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyone listening, yeah, it stops. They expose just the knuckle. But, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. When they. Okay, I've had my hands wrapped properly. When they wrap my hands for this, I said, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, like, there's more, right? Like, we're going to put... <laughs> no. You're joking, right? Like, this, we're going to put more on, right? No, so it felt like there was toilet paper around my hand. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, it felt very dangerous. We had a lot... Uh, Nico Hernandez. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Olympian boxer. Bo- broke, broke both, both of his hands. hands. Yeah. Both hands. No shit. No shit. Uh, shattered them. I think in the second or third round. Not very long into the fight. No, no. not long into the fight. So, it, you know, there was a lot of broken hands. Um, man, people, I'm standing there in the back, though, and these guys were coming back just looking mutilated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, did I really sign up for this? Uh, but, yeah, I, you know, I came out good on the other end. I took some shots, landed a lot more, yeah. almost got him out of there a few times. But, um, yeah, John, it felt good. That's awesome, man. I, I'd i never do that. I forced myself to do it. Like, I'm I was sure. Like, I got to do this. This is on the bucket list. Um, so I yeah. honestly, of course, there's the hand thing. People are going to have to relearn how to punch and shit. But I think it's ultimately it's safer than regular boxing with gloves. Oh. People aren't going to be near so willing to <laughs> get up. take punches. Uh. And the damage is going to be a lot more superficial and not deep inside the brain. Yeah. So actually preliminary uh, results have showed exactly what you're saying. There's less concussions, more cuts. Yeah. Yeah. More broken hands. Yeah. Um, but yeah, less concussions. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, yes. protect the brain. Yeah, right. Just, yeah, nobody just ever died from off. broken hands. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of like one of those things. Uh, I assume I, you guys will know the answer to this, but with uh, football and rugby. Yeah, oh, yeah. Where's there more concussions? I I think actually I think it, that's a good point. But yes, I, I mean, well, it, yes, football pads and the development of them making them so good, people are not afraid to run full blast at people and hit them as hard as they can Correct. because there's no immediate Correct. repercussions, but you're rattling your brain around like a jello mold, yeah. and <laughs> it's, you're fucking scrambling shit in there for the long term. And you're leading with your head in a lot of the times. I mean, that's I'm a penalty. <laughs> don't tell me what I'm doing. You don't know what the fuck I'm doing, 
Scotty. I'm a goddamn. I'm stealthy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's like, how most people describe me. Yeah, you're pretty stealthy. Light on, sure. Light on your feet. Very for nimble. A fat girl. So anyway, so same kind of thing with the. What are you the, doing? You fucking showing off? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're doing? We got a guest here. You're showing off. Yeah. You prick. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, but, there's a governor. Uh, a self-imposed governor in your brain that protects yourself, right? Yeah. So when I have no, when I, when my mind and my body knows that there's nothing protecting my hands, you're taking a little bit off. I hope sure. You are absolutely, and um, you know that's what makes the the MMA glove and and especially big, big, well wrapped boxing gloves. Yeah. You can throw a thousand percent. Oh you, sure. And you and you're not too worried about getting hurt. Right. So. But now uh, you're kind of taking on a new avenue, I guess. Yes, actually, I'm super excited about this. So uh, if you guys are not familiar, uh, listeners, there's um, I grew up training Muay Thai, okay? So Muay Thai is kicks, knees, elbows, uh, and obviously punches, right? So a little bit of everything with clinch. Chopsticks? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything Maybe I don't get it. I everything don't except for chopsticks. <laughs> All right. But kicks, knees, elbows, punches. Uh, no wrestling. No wrestling. It's it's It's... It's the purest violence I can think of. Um, and this is originally a, a martial art out of Thailand, mm -hmm. hence the Muay Thai, right? right? And um, uh, recently... In Spanish, that's very Thai. <laughs> <laughs> so, so recently they've started to allow, and this will be the first time in Kansas history, which I'm super proud of, uh, but they're allowing Muay Thai to be done. It's usually done with boxing gloves. Right. It's going to be done with MMA gloves. Right. So you get all the brutality of the stand-up without the boring, sometimes boring, ground game. Yeah. I saw the billboard on the interstate on the way yeah. here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm glad that it's working. People <laughs> have actually told me that they've seen the billboard. So. Yeah. I, uh, I took the time to read it, which really pissed off the rest of traffic. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to get a really good close look at it. I didn't have my reading glasses on, so I got into oncoming traffic. Yeah, but I I got a good look at it. I saw you, you look great. Did I look good? You did. Yeah, oh, you okay. did. Good to know. Fucking good scary. Know. That's what you look. You look fucking scary. I'm terrified of you. Well, um, hopefully friendly enough that everyone will come watch me this Saturday. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but in the ring, you're supposed to look that way. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I was actually watching. I was going through some of your, your videos because there's some of them on YouTube now. Uh, by the way, David the Caveman Rickles on YouTube. You can find him. Um, you're known for a lot of things, but uh, and we'll get to that in just a second. But one of my favorite things I saw... I don't remember which fight it was, but no, but you always have Joe in your corner. Yeah, it almost absolutely. seems like yep. so. It's your best friend, right? Mm -hmm. So best friend. He was my best uh, man in the wedding. I uh, lived with him for three years and trained with him. He was was he a, your cut man during the wedding too? Yeah, uh, he was my <laughs> drinking partner during the wedding. I'll tell you that. Joe the Nose Wilk, awesome dude. I've met him multiple times. Uh, he's he is he a little bit bigger than you? No, no, he's you guys are the same weight class. Smaller than is me. he really? Yeah, so. Oh. So Joe, when he was competing competitively, uh, he was fighting at one thirty-five and forty-five. Oh Jesus! Okay, so wow. He's 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 sitting a little healthier now. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little healthier weight. He's we get fighting older, at one sixty-five. But it, anyways, it doesn't have it. Just Joe is in the corner, and you were sitting after the, the first round, and I don't remember who you were fighting, but it was hilarious because you can just hear Joe, and Joe, I'm sure, just gets fucking pumped up whenever you're fighting in your corner, and he just like looks at you as you're sitting down, getting everything, and and he just goes, "Go and get him! Go and fucking get him!" And you just kind of turn around, look, I was gonna go get him like that. <laughs> yeah, we're like really good friends, so there's a lot of banter back yes. and forth. Like it's honestly just just clowning each other yeah. in between. Around. Thanks for the good advice, dude. Go, oh, go get him. I was just going to hang out here. <laughs> Give him the old dick twist. Yeah, there's not a lot of technical <laughs> advice that goes on, honestly, between me and Joe. I, yeah. I'm just at this point, man. you know what to do. Joe's yeah. my hype man. I walked out as a, a Stone Cold Steve Austin, Yeah. and I got dropped bad in that fight in the very, yeah, I very saw beginning. that fight. But yeah, we were watching. I got dropped that bad, and, and then, then got I, back up with your legs. I got back up. I got my legs under me. I started to win. I started to touch him up. We go into the second round. You were really oh, distracting well. him with that mouthpiece thing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a little yeah. bit. <laughs> that helped. But okay, so in between the rounds, I'm sitting there and Joe's yapping, 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 and all I do is I turn to him. And I go, "Can I get a hell yeah?" <laughs> He's like. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went out there and whipped dude's ass. So cool. Yeah, and, and a lot of people, and believe it or not, now we have freaking international listeners, and so people like all over the world listen to the show. But yeah, great. if they have never heard of, of we you We have Canadians, before, to which I say no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Canadians. They're, they're okay. Well, that makes one but, of us. But if you have never like YouTube searched some of the entrances that David the Caveman Rickles comes out to... Some of them are like fucking nobody has ever done it. Because you, you dropped the name of a guy mm. that you kind of emulated or you, you liked the most who came out all crazy. There. Yeah, Genki Sudo. That's who it was. Yep. I couldn't remember who it was. He's, uh, he's kind of, you know, there was, used to be a, a, an organization called Pride. So any of your MMA fans out there, oh, yeah. they, they'll probably know. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is Pride it's Month. It's Pride Month. Right? Look at that. But I'm partial to one Pride, honestly. <laughs> which, which they're both great. They're sure. Both great. Sure That's all are. I'm saying. But Who doesn't love a parade? Pride never <laughs> dies, okay? And this was a Japanese organization. Uh, and uh, that's where I fell in love with my with martial arts in general. Didn't they have fighting. ridiculous long rounds? They like had 10 uh, minute rounds or Yes, something? exactly. 10 minute round. Yep. Oh, but some and of the it was best a boxing ring though, wasn't and it? And yeah. you could soccer kick people in the face <laughs> when they're down. <laughs> that was awesome. I'll bring that back. Let's go. <laughs> some people, wow. some people just deserve to get kicked in the face when they're already fucked. That, but that is the only way to make soccer <laughs> yeah. enjoyable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, oh my but goodness. but no, like some of some of your entrances have been fucking second to none. It rivals WWE shit. I think it's better than WWE shit. What's your Come favorite? On, ask hold on, hold on. What what is your favorite? I have my favorite. Mine? Yeah. Um, man, I've had so many. I know. Girls. Just they're so enjoyable to me too. You yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to be the dinosaur though, man. Like yeah. the way that it all played out. Uh, so like. We were drunk one night, <laughs> and we're like, dude, let's get a dinosaur for the fight. Yeah. And we're like, call these people and left a voicemail. We never expected them to get back to us. They're like, we're in. We're totally in. We're going to bring the dinosaur. And I'm like, what? This is crazy. So... <laughs> Yeah. It, that's actually a good story. We talked about that. I think that was like the very first time you came on the show. But it's a it's an excellent story. But I will tell you, you know what my favorite one was? What was that? Mine was the one where everybody was frozen except for you. Yes. Because yeah, it yeah. was so oh. non like no everybody kind of realized what was going on and then just played what is along. What's the name of that challenge so that everyone can go Google it? Oh, fuck. Oh, goodness gracious. Frozen people challenge. I don't yeah. know. Something like that. My favorite was when you came down the stairs. That was that. <laughs> that was a, that's an awesome I mean, that was amazing. That's way better than Scotty's ever done. Yeah, the dinosaur. Scotty sucks at stairs. The, I made it look good. Yeah. You did. Yeah. 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 But it's one of my favorites. You can go on YouTube. You can check them out. But it was so cool. Just, just all you have to do is Google Dave Rickles walkouts. You'll get, you'll get a thousand. <laughs> you'll, get, of them. you'll get tons of them. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was by by far my favorite. You know, you get you get what three minutes to walk to the cage or whatever, and then sometimes you don't even get three minutes to fight. <laughs> Make that shit count. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying is people want to be entertained. I'm entertaining the second I walk out. That's absolutely 100% I, correct. I want to see the guy who at 301 goes, all right, wrap it up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Show so, on the road here, folks. Till yeah. next time. Yeah. Um, so can, do you, you're obviously going to walk out coming up here June 26th. Yeah. Right? Definitely. Any hints? I mean, how else do I get out there? No shit. <laughs> but I don't know. You came out in a fucking Flintstone he, car one time. He's going to walk to the fight. He's got to cut that weight. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's, that's for sure. That's I got true. a little weight to cut. But yeah, no, I've definitely got a walkout planned. Um, you know, it, don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil I, it. Oh, I'm never... Th- that is like antithetical to everything I believe. <laughs> like we have uh, um, kind of superstitions that we go into things. Oh, Totally. Like, my dad and uh-huh. Joe are on, the only people that ever know. That's awesome. Yeah. That's fucking so, cool. So I keep it on the low. Um, and it's at uh, Hartman Arena. Here, Hartman Arena. And that's, is that technically in Park City, Kansas? Oh, that's well under Park City. Okay. Just make sure. It's down was, there by where the Coliseum is. I, I was yep. going to fucking say Wichita, but I just wanted to make sure. Calm the fuck down. Uh, I always hated that whenever an event came to the Kansas Coliseum, a concert or wrestling event or whatever. And coming to Wichita, they need to say coming to not Wichita, <laughs> to nowhere near fucking Wichita. Be prepared to drive 45 minutes from Wichita. <laughs> Park City. Uh, Park City. <laughs> uh, there it is. Anyways, uh, shit, I had something else I was going to ask. Oh, well, actually, uh, we have a fan that uh, sent us a comment that wanted to know. Uh, he sent us a question for you. 
Uh, and this is uh, at I am G Money Twelve. Uh, how do you want to be remembered whenever you get to the end of your MMA career? Hmm. How do I want to be remembered? Yeah. Um. I'd like. That's a really hard question, right? man. Why does my guy put me on spot like That's... that? Like now, I'm contemplating my entire career right mm-hmm. now. I'm about to start crying. Fucking G Money. Uh, <laughs> man, honestly, you know, I've put a little thought into it, like. At the end of the day, I don't want to be known for for entertaining. That's it. Yeah. Being entertaining. Like, did that guy, the second, I you know, and I've had so many people tell me this. And at the end of the day, it just, it kind of became my mantra for fighting. Is like, yeah. you're the most entertaining person. Like, from yeah. the second you walk out, the way that I fight in the cage, you know, I don't do boring fights, man. Like, mm-hmm. I try to murder you from every position I can. I don't like to be on my back. I like to stand up. I like to throw down. Even when I get beat up, it's fine. I put on exciting fights. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, from <laughs> that's something I take pride in. That, I 100% agree with you. I the other thing. So, that- G money being entertaining. <laughs> that is it. And you know, I tell people all the time too. Is you know, if it wasn't fighting, it'd be something else. Yeah, sure. It would be me doing a podcast. It would be me doing something. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm one of those people who's like at least honest with myself enough to be like, I like all fucking eyes on me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. I like attention, folks. Like, hey, look at me. I've got a dinosaur. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, I mean, I, it'd be one thing or the other, but entertaining is, is my game. Absolutely. Uh, so whenever I, obviously the entertaining factor, whenever I think of David the Caveman Rickles, the other thing, not only being a great entertainer, but I can always think, uh, I've never heard you back down of a, from a fight. No, never. No. This, in fact, this you're last bitching. One. You're bitching at people to go. No, get me a fucking fight. I want to throw down. Let's go. I yeah. don't know if it was your last Bellator fight, but it's the last one that I recall. You fought a dude that was well above your weight class. You you had lost the fight. I think it was the first time you were submitted. Yeah, but I mean, he correct. was he yeah. was a much bigger so that was bodied that, individual. Yeah, I came up in weight for that fight. Um, and yeah, so he's currently the world champion. (laughs) So I fought Michael Chandler, lost to him. He fought for the world championship of the UFC. Um, you know, the list of guys that I fought are the best in the world. Um, I do take a lot of pride in that as well. Yeah. But uh, I saw that MVP. Oh yeah. yeah. MVP fought for the world title lost. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, I fought for the world title. I was going to say you fought for the championship. Yeah, I have, I have, I have. And you know, I've just been around, man. Being a, a kid from Derby, Kansas, man, <laughs> thinking I was going to do any of this, you know, uh, it, I, I, it, I've just enjoyed this journey. Oh, I really sure. have. I've enjoyed the journey. I've had a lot of uh, amazing fights, a lot of wins, some some rough losses. I, nobody likes to lose. No, I'm competitive. No, as, no. I'm competitive as hell. Yeah. I fucking hate losing. Sure, right. So, but those, those instead of being broken, I mean, I'll give you an example. Ronda Rousey. Oh right? yeah, she got her ass whipped, and she just. She said, fuck this. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Like, she pretty much gave up on herself. You know, I've just never been that type. I take a lot of pride in the fact that I, you know, I get knocked down, I get back up. And I Didn't come she back, come I out and get come clobbered again? Yeah. She the did. next fight? Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Two in a row, maybe, maybe if I got my ass with two times in a row, I'd be like, well, nah, it, it, fuck I'm. It. I'm <laughs> I'm guessing you're not worth what she is financially. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, probably, you probably don't have as much to protect. That's true. Yes. That is a factor. Right in this moment, I did not right. think of. <laughs> she, she, uh, she got a lot to live for. Yeah. What um, are you saying? I'm not as good looking as Ronda Rousey? Definitely. I am, I'm definitely I'm saying that. I'm definitely yeah. saying that. I didn't think During I had to. Pride Month? Really? Yeah. I am right. My I, lesbian wife even thinks so. <laughs> um. Yeah. Now, okay, is that that fight where you got knocked down in the first round? Is that the the closest you ever came to a loss and then still came back and won? Yeah, and every fighter wants that, right? Like that is like the coup de gras mm-hmm. of fighters. Like when you get clipped and you have to fucking find your nutsack mm-hmm. and you got to suck it back up and go after him. And, and I mean, dude, it's just that. Like I said, it's the best feeling in the world. So like we were insane after that Mm -hmm. well most guys who get put down like that can't get their legs back yeah most of the time you can't like but that's i mean those are the those are the fights people love to watch sure like the the crazy turnarounds the big upsets like 
for me at least, I mean, and, and, and you can see by the like who likes to watch what kind of fights, right? Like, mm-hmm. you don't want a one sided ass whooping. No, you want them to go back and forth. There yeah. has to be an element. You're, of, you're gonna see later on in my draft that the picks that I make, I love the guts fight. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, yeah, yeah. When you when you show your guts, man, like that's that's what people really love. And uh, you know, I was able to do that in that fight and. Felt really damn good. Yep. Especially walking out of Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> was like, cool. Fucking had to. <laughs> had to. And then you fucking stunned Joe. Yeah. Of I hit I hit my corner with a, a Stone Cold Stunner right after the fight, and it was on ESPN. And uh, Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, that First of all, that looked like it hurt when you came down, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blew my back out. That was, my, that was the worst injury of the fight. That's, no. that's, what, it, that's what it looked like. Uh, but anyways, okay. I was telling them a few weeks ago I had a car wreck once where I got thrown through the T-tops of a Camaro oh, as it rolled over and got up and was just fine and then stepped in a hole and sprained my ankle. <laughs> Is that a real story? Yeah. Shut up. Oh, God. Yeah, I was 19 awesome. years old. That's good shit. Um, but before we move I on. I like to think I could still do it, though. Before we move on too far, I didn't want to bring Fit this up. Fit through the T-tops? No. no. Actually, <laughs> I, I probably could have kept the fucking thing held down to the ground. <laughs> I, I do also want to uh, give you a shout out as well. I follow you on Facebook and all your your uh, you know social media. Um, you got to be pretty proud, fucking dad, bro. Oh, dude, I'm the most dude, proud dad. Yeah. What's she going on? is a fucking prodigy. I mean, I get where she gets it from, but I mean, come yeah. on, man. Yeah, there's a little bit in the blood. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. So, yeah, she's a murderer. My daughter. Um, Alexa, she she's taken up kind of dad's fighting path and yeah. stuff like that. She's she's currently mostly competing in jujitsu, but right. dude, she 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 is uh, tenacious. Mm-hmm. She's a firecracker. She Fuck kicks him. ass. I and wonder where she gets that shit from. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> goes she goes after him, and she's smarter than me too. She's mixed Asian. That's not so, that hard there. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Really good math school. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of takes her down a notch. Oh, whoa, wow. My wife's Hi. half Asian. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. So you don't have to worry about boys with her. We found that out with my wife. Um, Jesus Christ. Happy Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> yes, yes. Including sure. Jap- Japan yeah. and their pride. <laughs> and their pride. Um, Very prideful country. Yeah, they sure are. They sure are. Uh, but before we get too far, uh, we got to give a shout out to our uh, our sponsor of this. We episode. sure do, um, Dave. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of a personal question. When's the last time you shaved your balls? Um, I shave them often because yeah. I, I he's honestly, got to cut weight. I fi- <laughs> got to cut weight. <laughs> <laughs> I just I find I don't know what it is like. I you know this goes anti caveman, but like I just find it gross. Yeah. I do too. I don't know. I, I absolutely agree with you, and that's why there is a company that is out there making products, uh, and they are called Manscaped.com. You ever heard of these guys? I have. You yes, have? Yes, they're big in the fight world. I'm like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, they actually sponsor this fucking show. Do they? they yeah, they do. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. They gave us each a, a lawnmower. So where's my ball trimmer, yo? <laughs> where's my funny. ball trimmer? This is fucking funny. What's that? Uh, never mind. I thought you were going to tell them the story about the shirt. Oh, yeah. we uh, <laughs> And the underwear. Scotty is the one who they dealt with the most, and... Um, <laughs> In fact, they didn't deal with us at all, but they sent each of us like a care package with the ball trimmer and some ball deodorant, ball toner, and and some uh, boxers and a t-shirt, but apparently they thought we were all Scotty size. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me and Derek larges, which uh, both me and him got to kind of suck in to get a 2X on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, they, and they just came out with uh, the Lawnmower 4.0, which is a much better improvement than the uh, than yeah. the. Uh, show, show him what a piece of shit that thing is. <laughs> That's that. See, look at that light. You can't adjust that at all. Uh, we, we've said that this the LED light on the 4.0 is now adjustable, um, and this one wasn't. Um, no, I, I have not used. This You're one actually on under OSHA standards not allowed to use that without a welder's mask. That's how bright that <laughs> fucking light is. Way too bright. This is actually what blinded Stevie Wonder. Uh huh. Oh this is totally. Oh, what, wow. That's what. That's Jeez. what did it. That's good power. Right but there. now, like, who, are, is somebody <laughs> shaving their balls in the dark? <laughs> yes. Like, apparently, yes. In the dark and the shower. <laughs> Like, <laughs> Dave, you don't get it. Us fat folk cast a shadow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but now I the, did not know that. We're, we're, <laughs> it's perpetual Groundhog's Day downstairs for us. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Uh, but now the 4.0 has an adjustable LED light. Uh, so that way it, it's, it can't blind you. You know, you can you can turn it down, and that way you don't have to worry about blinding your ass. Uh, but they still have uh, the weed whacker, which is my favorite. That's that's a nose trimmer. That's a nose trimmer. trimmer. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, I need fuck. that. Oh, damn. I need that for that's, sure. That's my shit. Uh, but also a whole bunch of other products. Do us a favor. Go to manscaped.com and uh, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps a lot. But they And they mm-hmm. have like a big... Like Father's Day kind of package thing right now. It's it's what I we don't frequent the site, Scotty. <laughs> I'm not sure? that big of a fan. I've got my shit. <laughs> I got my Unless shit. I'm, I'm looking to restock. <laughs> yeah. I sit there and dream about having the 4.0 instead of the three. Yeah, yeah. You should definitely look into that. Uh, there, I, I'm, I actually might. Okay, good. Uh, but anyways, again, manscape.com. <laughs> use the promo code sidelines, and uh, that lets them know that we continue to do you know these reads by the book and uh-huh. uh, totally by the book. They don't give a fuck. In fact, our rep loves the shit out of us. So you guys are doing a great job. Their out there. slogan, is, I mean, the way that it works. By the way, I have a couple of times gotten a little reckless with it <laughs> and been like, "Oh shit, that's gonna that no way that didn't cut," and it never does. Yeah, it really? never cuts. No, I've definitely had that happen oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. you use a beard trimmer and mm-hmm. it's it, oh jesus it's like you got a hand job from Freddy krueger it's <laughs> ridiculous but this thing will not grab skin it will not cut it won't do anything yeah. it just leaves you nice and smooth yep. hmm. you almost don't even need to get the remainder with with a regular razor i mean i do anyway just for you know why not um <laughs> what, eggs yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh is that for you or for her both yeah it will work on women (laughs) don't ask how i know that because technically you're not supposed to but uh their slogan is we'll shave you clean from bush to tush and uh after a question i got this weekend i just want to clarify bush to tush is not the same as ass to mouth (laughs) not even in the same category so uh all right anyways um yeah check them out manscape.com promo code sidelines love you guys Okay, uh, but now we get to get into the fun part of the show. Oh, what? I, I, I don't, oh. I'm not done asking questions about this upcoming fight. Oh, well then, fuck. I'll just stay back here. Who, who are you fighting? Oh, yeah, that's the other one. I <clears throat> yeah, what the hell? You know. My bad. It's in, My bad. Are you just going in by yourself? Yeah. So It's just Dave shadow boxing. Yeah. So this is going to be third time's the charm. Um, I've been matched with this guy. His name is Justin Baseman. He's okay. been around for a long time. He was fighting out of California for the longest time. I think he's in Nevada now. Uh, we were batched, uh, matched for bare knuckle. We were matched in Bellator. And, you know, the fights just fell through. Something happened, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they fell apart. So third time's a charm. He reached out to me, actually. He was like, what nice. up? You want to square up, bro? I'm like, fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> and that's it. There's yeah. the story. Now but we're fighting is... each other. <laughs> this now is... I'm, I'm paying... From my organization that I own <laughs> to have this guy out come out here and potentially beat my ass in front of my friends and family, right? In I'm your paying ho- for his flight in your home fucking town. Yeah, and, and well, this sort, is just going to be straight Muay Thai. Yeah, straight Muay Thai. Muay Thai All with stand MMA up. gloves. Now, are you going to be in an octagon or in a square ring? Ooh, that's a good. No, question. yeah, uh, I have yeah, great so questions, Scotty. I'm the best question. You just take the day off. All right. Yeah, it's not a square. Yeah, it's a, it's 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 a uh, octagon. Yes, correct. Mm-hmm. But, but we're technically not allowed to call it that. Oh, okay. Why? Oh, because of the fucking of UFC. UFC you, yeah. Are you telling me UFC owns geometry? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! How much money does Dana White have? Right. God damn! Yeah, he's got yeah. a lot. Just saying, a lot. He uh-huh. bought an entire branch of math. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter's got to be part jealous about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, shit. Uh, so what what weight class are you fighting in? I'm fighting at 175. 175, okay. Yes, yeah. So, Which uh, is a little heavier than what you... That's up from me. I just, I don't, been. you know, I... Uh, I don't like to cut weight anymore. Oh, don't right. <laughs> it's, it's not safe. And I'm still cutting. And then, here's the fucking trick. Okay, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go up a weight class so that I don't have to cut weight. Now I'm still fucking cutting weight just yeah. to get to 175, That's right? So works. I just grow muscles and shit. Like it's <laughs> bullshit. So I can finally feed myself, you know, n- n- nutritious meals and whatnot. So I start to get bigger, and you know, as we know, you get a little bit older. It's a little bit harder to. Cut, I wouldn't know nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it's just been getting a little harder to cut weight. So I, I moved up a weight class. Yeah, that makes that makes. You know what? Actually, I, I always used to think it was so ridiculous. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Mm-hmm. When he was the, I believe, lightweight champ, and he was, you know, coming in at at uh, like supposed to be at 155 or whatever, and they said he would cut 30 to 35 pounds of weight within two days of the two. weigh-in. Oh, I, I believe it. Which, no wonder he's kicking everybody's ass. He's coming well. in weighing 185 pounds against a guy who's legit 150 pounds. Yeah, he's gonna. He's six inches taller. He's just a bigger fucking guy. Well, there's a lot to that, but uh, I would say in the long run, like doing that, those kind of weight cuts is actually way worse for your career. Oh yeah, because what you're what people don't know is that like seventy six percent of the the volume of your skull is water. Okay, so okay. when I'm Jeez. cutting thirty pounds of water within two mm-hmm. days, you turn retarded. Where do you, where do you think some of that's coming from? <laughs> sure, <laughs> right. So the cushion, the thing that cushions your brain, so you don't get knocked out. Yeah, you're pulling water out of that. Right. <laughs> God, damn. So like, uh, I'm a big advocate of like, you know, we went through this crazy fa- phase where we're like, hey, we want to cut weight just like actual college wrestlers, right? Oh yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, they yeah. do. Right? I heard you talk well, about. Well, they that. don't get fucking punched in the head. Right. Right? So they mm-hmm. don't need the cushion for their head to be yanked yeah. around, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dude, I've uh, seen less. them stand up on the top rope while the guy's in the corner. And <laughs> they get 10 fucking shots. Yes, they get punched in the head. We're talking about well, chairs. Uh, I'm talking about college wrestling. Okay, real wrestling. For oh, one. okay. Sorry oh, to, damn. I do love uh, You're WWE. You're saying it's not WWF. real. Or shit. Yeah. I do. I love You all said that. it correctly. Obviously, I, I, yes, I'm not a WWE guy. WWF, yeah, mm-hmm. even right. WCW, little Scott Steiner action. <laughs> I, oh sure, I fuck with that. I, I was a big WCW guy. Yeah, okay. me too. But yeah, yeah. So, so you know, um, I'm just not a big advocate. I think that fighters should fight, you know, within 15, 20 pounds of their natural weight. That actually was uh, a fan question. Um, he didn't put his name in there, but uh, his question was, "What's the shittiest way to cut weight?" Oh, really? So shittiest... I said, I said trash bag so, and sauna. So sh- shittiest way? Yeah, shittiest way. Is to wait fucking last minute. <laughs> That's the fucking <laughs> shittiest way. You wait till last minute. Uh, Procrastinate. <clears throat> well, I think it's horseshit. I ate an entire jar of peanut butter on uh, fight week one time, and it kicked the shit out of me. It, it, I, nice carbo load. Yeah. 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 I... I uh, was going to say something. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm getting old. <laughs> was it related to the peanut butter comment? No, I think it's bullshit that the, they do the weigh-ins the day before. Right. Well, what do you think it should be? Day of. Like, you should weigh that oh, at fight time. More well, you, you would definitely change the game if you did that. Yeah. Right. You would change the game. Not yeah. my I, I just think when it, when it comes to the guys weighing in the day before, and they cut so much weight... <laughs> And then they fight in that weight class, but they come back twenty pounds heavier. You're fucking lying. What I you mean, mean, you know, you're you're not in that weight yes. class. Yeah, no, for and sure. And especially if the other guy legitimately is in that weight class, that, he's at a huge disadvantage. Yeah, especially when you talk about MMA, though. I think that there's a, there's a bigger problem with the MMA because when you when you're talking about a wrestler like yeah, somebody, when you're rolling, somebody takes you down and they're on top of you and they weigh 30 more mm-hmm. pounds than you that's a fucking big difference big it's time. it's hard you know I mean? to oh, yeah. Trying to pick up somebody that big. Totally. Right? Have you ever tried to pick up a toddler that doesn't want to be picked up? <laughs> Fucking shit, that's tough. Try somebody who weighs 20 pounds more than you and wants to stay on top of you. That's right, yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so there's a huge grappler's advantage to like outweighing your opponent, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think the, the, the gap gets smaller when you talk about just striking. As I long agree. As, as long as they're reasonably close. Yeah. You know, I think that's... You know, but 20 pounds when you're talking at that low weight. I mean, you were talking about this other guy who fought at 135. Uh, by the way, I haven't tipped the scales at 135 since fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a true statement. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, when you can, when your body doesn't give as much because you got more weight being planted down, you yeah. get more behind your punches. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Sitting in Let me punch. tell you about fighting. Buddy. Okay. <laughs> I took two years of Taekwondo. Okay. <laughs> with uh, children. Whenever, I mean, whenever I was going going to a gym and actually fighting, I, I really couldn't get below 145 pounds whenever I started. I think that was kind of where I, I just couldn't go any further down than 155 because I was just short and stocky. 
and that sucked. Yeah. Like trying to to do it, I looked like I was fucking anorexic or some shit. Yeah, I need to check my notes here. Yeah, Dave never fucking asked. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give a shit about what Sorry. you did in the gym. No, but that actually leads me into my question for Dave. I, I'm okay. fascinated by this. the The process leading. Walk me through a day of training. A day of training. <clears throat> yeah. So I usually start my day. Um, this training camp, actually, a lot of my training camps. I start as early as possible. Okay. okay? So I start at 6 or 6.30. <clears throat> uh, I usually get up and run, mm -hmm. all right, so just to burn some calories right off the bat. A lot of people are like there's a misconception like running does not make you in better fighting shape. Hmm. Sprinting will, right? Okay. Going up, sprinting up, uh, you know, intervals where you're fucking huffing and huffing. <laughs> yeah. That's what you have to do to get in fighting shape, right? Hmm. When I'm just running, I'm burning calories. I'm trying to get my body slim. I'm trying to get it lean. I'm trying to, you know, yeah. get to the weight that I need to be at, right? right? So I start my day with that. And then I usually jump into, you know, when it depends on what I'm training for. You know, this specifically, I'm, I'm training for just a stand-up fight. Right. Kickboxing, Muay Thai, right? So that's when I start my kickboxing training. My coach would show up at 7.30. 7.30 a.m., we would start mitts, right? He holds the mitts, pop, mm -hmm. pop, 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 you know, that Floyd Mayweather oh, stuff, yeah. making it look pretty, this and that. Except for people don't realize that real mitt work isn't pretty, right? It's no. not the fancy combos and shit like that. It's no. really not. It's I think fundamental. That most of that the mitt guy <laughs> coming to the gloves <laughs> a lot of yes, times. Yes, he's doing just as much work, right? So, yeah, like real mitt work is not pretty. It's not fancy. It's fundamentals. It's basics. <clears throat> making sure my hands are in the right spot. Making sure I'm turning my hips. This small details, right? Yeah. Trying to make things that look the same. I should want my knee and my front kick and my roundhouse kick to start the same way so right. that it tricks my opponent. So there's like the, the, the minute small details, uh, the basic details are, are really what you're training for. And then uh, I would go again and I'd either run or do some kind of uh, – conditioning or i would alternate and i would do sprints at the stadium okay yeah, yeah. going up so stairs. later in the day i'd do sprints in the stadium God, so i fucking hated that so i tried to alternate between cardio conditioning cardio conditioning cardio conditioning and what i call conditioning is just whatever you do whatever you want until you're want to throw up right right <laughs> that's conditioning right like if that's i'm kind of what you, most people can't push themselves to that point but that's kind of probably what you got to do to fight at that level, yeah. right? Yeah, for for me to expand my VO two max <laughs> and to to expand my lungs, right? Like mm -hmm. the capability of me and uh, like my body is just sending oxygen to and from, right? To do that, I have to push the limits mm -hmm. on my body. Yeah, right? use an altitude mask or anything? Nah, I don't no. fuck with the altitude mask. Like, I, if the thing with the altitude mask is like, yeah, do I want to be gassed in one minute? I don't know. Do no, I, I, don't. I don't know what you want. Dave. I don't. I don't. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to do three, four, five Seems minutes. Seems like you get training out of the way like, a lot faster. Well, think about it this way, right? Yeah, yeah. You might. You, it would be over quick, but guess what? Your time in the ring would still be ticking, right? So I trained for rounds. Yeah. Right. So five minutes when I was doing That's MMA. That's a long fucking time. Five minutes of extremely fucking hard work <clears throat> make you want to die. Okay, and then I would take one minute off because that's what I do in the ring. That's what I do in the cage. Take one minute off. Then you hit that five minutes again, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> it's preparing your body for what's about to happen to it. You have absolutely no idea. I mean, Dave does, obviously. But when somebody is pushing you up against the cage and holding you there, just grappling, how much that fucking takes out of you? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It yes, to not be taken sucks. down. Guys, yeah. Google Street Fights and watch how fucking tired people are in 22 it, seconds. It is. <laughs> there, there's probably some, some stuff that comes naturally to you because you've been doing it for so long. But, like, I was 33 before I ever threw a meaningful kick in a martial arts class. And I didn't know how to breathe while doing it. And I would oh, hold yeah. my breath. And, Jesus, that, there's nothing that will take it out of you faster. Yeah. yeah. Just doing simple forms and shit. I would wear myself out. It just had to be a leg kick, right? There's no way you can kick anything above your waist. What Were else you do you kick with? I can no. I can actually still kick head high. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, I can do a crescent kick. We need a video. We need a video. We got to do a video. I'll be happy to. Okay, <laughs> that shit's going on TikTok. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm rusty, but uh, the reason that I still can is because I have a bad hip that is very, very... Wobbly, <laughs> yeah. I don't have much power behind it, but I can still loose. do it. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we better we better move on with the episode for the love of God, or else we're gonna we're gonna go really long. 
And uh, Dave's right. time is valuable, you know. All right. Uh, so let's move on to uh, the fun it's not part. not rousy get... valuable, but yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get to participate. You get to participate in the fun. Cool. We've got a couple of seconds. Oh, yeah. we're these, these reindeer games. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on to overrated or underrated. This is where we get to take some, uh, sometimes some, some fan suggestions, but uh, we didn't find any good ones. So we're going to do just ones that I found. Uh, whether or not it is overrated or underrated. Okay. So these are going to be random things. Whatever. You just let us know if you think it's overrated or underrated. Anyways, we're going to move on. First one is overrated or underrated condoms. Um, mm-hmm. Next month will mark the 23rd anniversary of when I should have worn a fucking condom. <laughs> <laughs> That's really? a decision I've been regretting. No, I, I love my son very much. <laughs> uh, but uh, they're... I didn't always like him. <laughs> I always loved him, but I didn't always like him. Yeah. But uh, no, um, and then it was uh, 22 years and 11 months when I got a vasectomy. And because uh, I didn't want to do that again. Yeah. Once I knew he was healthy and, and boy, was he. Mm-hmm. My, my son was born 10 pounds, 14 ounces. Jesus Christ. And uh, held his head up when he was an hour old. <laughs> oh he God. really did. Really? I'll show you a picture of him after I said his graduation. <laughs> wow. The fucker is a hoss. He's, he, I, I want to say he's like 6'3 and about 270. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. So overrated or underrated? Oh, underrated. <laughs> Wear a fucking condom, dickhead. <laughs> uh, I'm, Don't I'm, be polluting this earth with your spawn i'm I'm gonna go with jeremy on this one it's completely underrated have you seen people out there that are just absolute pieces of shit and pricks they need to never start, have no they need to were they at salt Not grass you i mean just pieces of shit yeah they were all at salt grass this week <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they need to wrap it up so i'm gonna go underrated yep. how about you dave overrated <laughs> overrated <laughs> i'm gonna i'm just gonna say it guys uh, oh, they I'm, suck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna bring the wholesome content though. Okay. I I love being a dad. Like it was the best sure. thing that ever happened to me. Oh, okay. All right. I'll take that one. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Peanut butter. There you go, Dave. There you go, Dave. <laughs> underrated. Yeah. Underrated. You can you're, eat a whole jar stuck, of peanut butter, bro. You're stuck in the fucking outback with no food. What do you want? That has a thousand calories per mm-hmm. one spoonful. Yeah, you want fucking peanut butter. <laughs> what? There's this shit, and I don't even know what it's called. It's called like Veggie Light or some shit like that. Vegemite. That, Vegemite. That's that's an Australian that thing. That was made uh, famous in the Minute Work what song. What the hell is wow. Vegemite? Shit, that apparently uh, you need to try, because that wh- apparently it makes is like peanut butter? No, sort it doesn't. Of. Oh, well, no. fuck off. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> when, when we went to Disney World a couple of years ago, and we had a... An adjoining room, we stayed, we went with some of her family. We all had our own room, but there was like a common area with a kitchenette in it. And it, somebody had left a tube of Vegemite. Uh, a what? tube? It comes in tubes? Yeah, it's tubes. like toothpaste. <laughs> it's fucking gross. Anything a, with veggie in it, I don't want to fuck with that. I'm apparently with it will not go bad. So that's why they like it in Australia. You can <laughs> take it out wherever and it'll, it's always a ready source of okay. food. Vegemite yeah. and then peanut butter yeah. if you're stuck in the outback. Peanut butter is... No, you go is, peanut is, butter. Vegemite is <laughs> fucking stupid. Get you a fucking tube of peanut butter. Yep. Peanut butter, creamy if you have to. Peanut butter is fucking awesome. Which it's, one, Dave, by the way? It's an Creamy or crunchy? Creamy. Creamy. Cre- really? Okay. Yeah, man. Hmm. Huh. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, underrated. Yeah. It, it, it is like the perfect accessory. Not only is it good by itself, but you can put it on anything. Sweet, salty. You know, it, it can cover up the taste of bad shit. Balls? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had to think about it. Probably. <laughs> you said sweet and salty. I I, I typically like balls, you know, just Manscaped, naked. yeah. Yeah, man, man, manscaped and... Uh, uh, but no, uh, it's the only thing that makes celery palatable. Yeah, no, I agree. All right, next one. Uh, overrated or underrated, Parmesan cheese. Overrated as fuck. <laughs> it's like somebody took one of those... Like cheese graters to the bottom of their foot, <laughs> and just ground off all the dead skin and calluses and shit into a shaker. It smells like a fucking old shoe, and it adds nothing to the quality of the food. 
Oh, so, so you're going to go with uh, overrated there, huh? It makes me hate Italians. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, David? Overrated. Really? Yeah, just, God, man, I don't damn. fucking, I don't get it. It doesn't, it tastes like shit. Mm-hmm. I guess I mean, it doesn't add anything to my pasta. Uh, real Parmesan is okay, but I would take some, mozzarella I, over Parmesan any day of the week. Throw some real cheese in that bitch. Yeah. God damn it. I'm, I'm, Put some cheese whiz. I'll take cheese whiz over fucking Parmesan. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess I'm fucking weird. I think it's underrated. I, I cannot have, like, spaghetti without, like... The, the Parmesan, not the, little the spritz, no, the little spritz. no, like the ones that you have to buy at the in the refrigerator aisle of the grocery store that it's like cut up, real cheese, with, yeah, that you fucking yeah. do the wheel on like yeah. they do at the Italian Garden, yeah, Olive exactly, Garden, exactly. I went to Italian, or I went to Olive Garden just the other day. It was terrible. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> good, good story, dude. Just, yeah, the <laughs> thing, the thing about it, the, you are amongst family though, because when you're there. Your family. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I just wanted the fucking breadsticks. Jesus, I could eat those. <laughs> I'm low carbon at Dave yep. has since the first of the year and yeah. those breadsticks. How's it going? Um, I'm not losing the weight like I'd like to, but I feel a lot better. My Dude, my knees and stuff don't hurt it. near as much as they used to. All I was eating was processed shit and yeah. gluten and preservatives and shit. And I, I've cut that all out and mostly meats and cheeses for me now. Well, yeah, so even when I'm not like training and dieting down specifically for a target weight, I try my best to stick to mostly meats, fruits, vegetables. I just I feel better, like yeah. you said. I, I hate most vegetables. That sucks for me on because there's a lot of shit that I could eat. Put some peanut butter on it. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's got a lot of carbs. That defeats purpose. Peanut it's, butter. Oh, it's wrong. not as high you've carb as you think. You've said this before. You've said this before. Peanut butter is is low carb. The, Not when you eat it in the quantities I do. <laughs> <laughs> There's like four grams right. per serving. I keep it under I'm gonna 20 a day. I'm going to help you out. Go, go up there and look. you got to look at the nutrition label. Find one. They, they, they should be two, one or two carbs max. Uh, most of them have four. They and, add them. And they add it in. Sure they do. But a serving size is an eyedropper full. That's true. That's what yeah, sucks. That is. Yeah. That's, that's Way to go, guys. you got a good point there. I, I, I'm, that's, I make the best points. Yeah. Um, overrated or underrated checkers wait what yeah the, that I, <laughs> that was one Chinese Fucking, or otherwise <laughs> no I wasn't talking about your wife there Jeremy I was talking about regular checkers you know like when you go into fucking Cracker Barrel and they have that Stupid fucking. Oh, you're not talking about the grocery store. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the game. Do you remember che checkers? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I do. I didn't know if that fell on deaf ears or if it just wasn't funny. No, it, um, wasn't, it just wasn't funny. Yeah. Um. No, checkers. <laughs> playing the game board game checkers. I've actually been playing a lot of chess lately. Okay. On, I, I have a chess app. Mm, it's actually mm. helping mind strength and strategy. That's how I'm so fucking sharp when I come in here. <laughs> um, so fuck checkers. <laughs> Checkers can bite my balls all day long. That's where I'm at with checkers. I got sent this one. I didn't even put the person's name that sent it to me because of this Nor reason. should you. Who the fuck still plays fucking checkers? Yeah. Old Are men in parks. Yeah. Like the people that like just... me. Yeah. Well, sure. Hey, I'm at the age where I'm not allowed to go to park unless I have a dog. Yeah. Then people sure. just think I'm a pedophile if I do. <laughs> right. No, but checkers overrated as fuck. Why is it even on the list? How about you, Dave? Checkers, way fucking overrated. Mm -hmm. uh, it basically, like, if we are playing Jeopardy, it'd be, who doesn't have a dad for 100, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because if your dad didn't teach you fucking chess like a real man, you you did, you, you have two two mothers, I, which is great for Pride Month. I'll have to which show. Which is great for Pride sure. Month. Sure. I'll have to show you what my dad made. Me and my brother each made this. Chess sets. <laughs> These huge chess sets. He, yeah. he does a lot of woodworking and he turns them on a lathe. The, the pieces are that Jesus. tall. He oh, used yeah. four by four tiles to make the, the boards, but they're these huge fucking oversized chess sets. He made one. That's awesome. That, That's and then cool. he realized he had two kids and he's going to die soon. I swear to so, God, I swear dads do this mm -hmm. just to see if their kids are fucking retarded or not. What? Make you learn chess. They're like, <laughs> all right, let's test this kid's ability. Okay. Yeah. Except my dad is terrible at chess. He? he taught me how to play. I knew the moves, but he sucks at chess. Yeah, but he knew um, the rules. I, I yeah, that's, that's all. That's that's what qualifies. Like, sure. yes, that that there's a certain level of intelligence just to understand how to play chess. That's like I agree with that. People know the rules of poker too. They're not necessarily good at. It. <laughs> 
But no, my dad made these chess sets, I think, just to basically tell the world, fuck you, I'm retired, I'll do whatever I want. I want <laughs> I don't want to waste my time. I'll have him make you one. Yeah. I don't know if you will or not, but I'll tell him to. <laughs> I've... <laughs> Typically, when I give the man orders, he hits me. Yeah. So with a chess piece, uh, he's like that fucking guy in Happy Gilmore that's making the old ladies like fucking make the big old blankets. Yes. Yeah. He's Just like, like Ben Stiller now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Yoga pants. Underrated as fuck. Yoga pants are fucking awesome. Sure. They feel so good whenever they're like, whenever you try to put them on. I like <laughs> it when they get right up to your belly button. Uh-huh. Those are my favorite things in the world. Sure. They feel um, great. They make my ass look amazing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love I, them. You wear Spanx, huh? Yeah. That's uh, that's the, where you're at. On the weekends. Don't okay. even try to make fun of me. Wrestlers do it all the time. And they wear them without actual pants. They're Speedos. Don't give yeah. that shit. By the way, Dave, I'd like to see you in this fight wearing a singlet. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And when uh, you go in for the kill, take take it off. Take the strap off. <laughs> so you just got... Who was it that used to do that? What wrestling? Kurt Angle. Andre, was it Andre the Giant? Well, Andre the Giant yeah. would do it, but like I remember Kurt Angle, whenever he was getting ready to do like the Olympic Slam, he would take them off yeah. oh, okay, and he'd okay. do that. So, But yeah. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? I'm... The only guy I know who, or only person I know who does yoga is Matt. Yeah. And I don't really care to see him in yoga pants. Um, <laughs> yeah. And in my opinion, if you're not doing yoga, they're just pants. <laughs> right. How about just you? Just really tight pants. Just really tight pants. How about you, Dave? Underrated. Um, I was on a long run one time, and I'm, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, and I get this, I get this view in front of me. Mm-hmm. Motivation. Oh, yeah. A, a, a nice... Like well shaped ass. I know. Right? I, w- I was really trying to okay. just set pace for you. So That's what I'm, I was doing. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm getting closer. And I notice it's a it, it's a it's a man. Yeah. See. Yeah. Me. No. This is, a, this is a, <laughs> happy I, Pride Month, everybody. <laughs> And I'm like, if this man's ass looks good to me in these yoga pants, I need a goddamn pair. You sure you do. So you got some. You got some, didn't you? No. I don't. Oh, fuck. God damn. You need to try it. No. You need to try it. I'm totally kidding, by the way. Don't. All right. That is our uh, that is our overrated and underrated segment for the week. Now we get to move on to Jeremy Joseph's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Right, Jeremy? If you say so, Scotty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get to take some uh, questions from uh, some of you fans, uh, which we didn't have any this week. Uh, so these are just questions that uh, I found or my wife found or something along those lines. So um, you can send us questions on in the Q&A section of our TikTok. Uh, but like uh, Jeremy Joseph always says, Jeremy? Yeah. Don't, well, answer the question. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> if you think that it's a stupid question, don't put it in there because we're going to delete it. Oh, were you, I didn't realize you were throwing to me. I thought I was throwing <laughs> to you. Okay, <laughs> right? You suck at that. I'm sorry, my you've, bad. You've been thrown to. And yeah. I was uh, trying to think of my answer for this first question. So. Okay. All right. So uh, don't fuck with me when I'm thinking. Sorry. Uh, first question: uh, <clears throat> The best way to set the mood is to turn down the lights and turn up the blank. Jeremy. Ceiling fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You don't have good circulation in the room. Yeah. When I take my pants off, there's a smell. <laughs> That's disgusting. It sure is. Fuck. Think how she feels. Uh yeah. Um this is this one hit really, really like hard for me because it's so true. Uh the best way to set the mood is to not only turn down the lights, but turn up the office. Have any of you guys, like, seen the videos going around? Like, what's the song that you have sex to the most? And it's the fucking Office song from the That's TV show. That's what you have sex to? It's because it stays fucking oh. on loop. <laughs> oh. oh, you're talking the theme song. <laughs> yes. It's that the- is fucking catchy. Because <laughs> it's just playing in the <laughs> back. It's playing it in is the playing back. in the back. That's right. Okay. I, I okay. Make 100%. My, I make my dachshund dance to that fucking song every time it comes on. <laughs> so it's fucking true. Uh, how about you, Dave? I like to turn up the peanut butter, baby. <laughs> turn it up. I love that peanut butter, man. Just seductive. For my wife, <laughs> not my dog. <laughs> For my wife. She uh, likes peanut butter, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, you are married, Dave? I oh, yeah. am, oh, yes. Yeah. How, how long have you been married? Uh, let's see. We're coming up on three years. Now, not, not to get too personal, but uh, you fuck that shit? 
<laughs> do I fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, another inside I, joke of the I, show. I do that to, to people because it's uh, just so fucking crude. I yeah. act like I want to know things about the relationship. <laughs> you fuck that shit? I, I do fuck that shit. I've, All right. I think that's an important part of a relationship. Uh, yeah. 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 Pussy. I, yeah. yeah. I agree. You should, oh, you should, you should fucking answer it. Tell him he's on the air. Yeah, tell him you're on the air. What up? You're on the air. No, yeah, you're yeah, on there. For real. No, for well, real. You're being recorded. You're being recorded, Joe. No, so don't say anything incriminating. Yeah, don't say anything bad. No, I already told David I wouldn't tell him about that glory hole incident. <laughs> 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 secrets are all safe with me. That's why we're best friends. That's right, best man. <laughs> hey, let me holler back at you. All right. Later, y'all. See ya. That's fucking great. That's where that love of peanut butter. Is. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Uh, next question. Uh, the perfect party includes a fighter, a Is wizard. Dave? Yeah, Dave. Uh, the perfect party includes a fighter, a wizard, That's and Derek. a blank. <laughs> and a not Scotty. <laughs> That's uh, just anything else. Yeah. I mean, Dave and Derek is be all the party you really need yeah i agree um derek wouldn't show but still <laughs> yeah he wouldn't uh let's see Love you, derek. yeah uh in my opinion uh, the perfect party includes a fighter a wizard and a midget 100 percent of the time that sounds like a great time hmm. yeah how about okay. you how about you Dave? hunter biden's hookers <laughs> what <laughs> sure <laughs> I'm going to go with Twin Hunchback. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, that's, too. That's the number one on my bucket list. I want to make it with Twin Hunchbacks. You you rarely see a Hunchback nowadays, let alone twins. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, next one. Uh, something you should never say to defuse a tense hostage situation. Fucking do it. Shoot her. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, if we all don't calm down here, I'm going to detonate my bomb. <laughs> yes. And mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Do you Is have, that what you want? <laughs> Do you have one, Dave? Bukaki. <laughs> because all the men would just start firing away. <laughs> Actually, they would all be like, Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> I've been saying Bukaki. <laughs> Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, that was great. All right, next one. Uh, what's a good name for a detective agency ran by the handicapped? This is pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> the crippled dicks? <laughs> oh, my God. Shit. I, I don't have one for this. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I just... Uh, I, I, helmets, rollers, and investigators. I don't know. Okay. Do you have anything, David? You're both going to hell. I know. Yeah. Totally. I didn't even write anything down. I was appalled. <laughs> we've, we've actually broke character on this show to point out what horrible people we are. Yeah. <laughs> for, for what it's worth, no bullshit. We did overrated, underrated um, wheelchair basketball last week. And I'm going to give this dude a shout out because he made my fucking day. Oh, God. He left a comment, and the comment... Are you actually doing a flashback during the show? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's not that kind of show, Scotty. So the guy's name is Lil underscore wheels 13. And he no wheels. No, seriously. That's and he dope. goes, as a wheelchair basketball player, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. It takes a crap ton of upper body strength. But this was funny as fuck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That guy's awesome. He is awesome. All right. Next one. Or did we answer all? Yeah. Uh, no, there's one more. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, did everybody answer that one? Oh, yes. Okay. One. Uh, last one. Uh, what a cave woman would say when she first created fire. How would you like your brontosaurus cooked? <laughs> yeah, baby. Because <laughs> even back then, they were in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. Um, I don't fucking know. I... Th- I I don't know. I have nothing. I've got nothing. There's another goddamn thing I had to do myself. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's right. 
Mr. Limp Sticks can't rub them together. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Again, keep on sending us those questions at Laughing on the Sidelines on our TikTok in the Q&A section. We love it for doing that as long as they're not stupid-ass questions. But now we get to move on to the draft. This is uh, something we've basically done every episode since Dave Dave came on the show, practically. And uh, apparently everybody loves it. So, uh, I this, don't think they even like we it, Scott. We're doing the draft. the draft. Oh, the draft. Let's yeah, go. We're doing, we're doing Let's go. Draft. Yeah, that's right. Draft time, baby. So, uh, anyways, last week uh, we did uh, favorite villains, I believe, right? Yes. Right, uh, Jeremy, yes. you fucking swept. It, it was the, a sound ass whipping by almost a hundred votes. Absolute fucking. That's two in a row. That is two in a row. Good for you. I'm so proud. I'm getting of into you. Derek territory here. You are. <laughs> I remember whenever I started. I used to do that all the time. Uh, but anyways, uh, this you, you week you got into Derek's territory. No winning is, is that much, what he calls his downstairs. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Uh, so this week's episode, because Jeremy won, he is going to pick last. And uh, because we have a guest on, uh, we're going to let David pick first. And uh, this week's uh, draft is going to be the best boxing or MMA fights of all time. Are we doing our the best or our favorite? Our favorite. I'm Listen. sorry. Our favorite ones of all time. Okay. I'm going first. You get you first, get pick, first pick, bro. Pick. All what? right. Uh, this is a throwback. This is from Pride Fighting. Uh Butterbean, okay? Yeah. Oh, gigantic, fat-ass Butterbean. That hit like a fucking truck. He knew how to hit. He knew how to do it all, but he did not know what a heel hook was. Uh-huh. And he found out by Genki Sudo. Yep, yep. That's a good one. I remember what, well, I don't, I remember the highlights because I watched it on YouTube. Okay. All right. I better, I don't, I don't think you can't not take that one. The one. Do you not take Rumble in the Jungle? As the best, one of the best ones of all time. I, I don't now. Okay, well, you then, took it. Dick. I did. I did I was, take it. I, I did. W- take I actually it. wasn't gonna. Oh. <clears throat> all right, that's mine. Oliver's Fraser Rumble in the Jungle. All right. What do you got? Well, this will probably be my. Only... So you get two. So right. It gets two. I, I know how it works. I'm, I'm a fucking veteran of this show. I've been uh, here since the beginning. I'm telling Dave. Shut Reluctantly. Up. Mm-hmm. Um. This will be my only MMA pick, but it's, you know, the type of fight that fuck, I like. Fuck, fuck, don't Forrest you. Griffin, God Stephen damn it, Bonner. you son oh, of a bitch. That's son. the best one of all time. You that suck. Was, that was the gutsiest fucking MMA fight. That was a bad Well, that's still, I think, even though it was like an ultimate fighter championship fight, it was still one of the best, it, like, UFC fights Neither of all time. Neither would quit. I mean, yeah. every time you thought somebody had the upper, upper hand. hand. Yeah. yeah. Those are the best. Those are. And then in that same vein... I've said this before. I'll say it again. It is the best boxing match you will ever watch. Do yourself a favor and go watch it, even though it wasn't for anything major. Arturo Gatti and and Mickey Ward, their first fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Round nine of that fight is the best round of boxing you will ever see. Arturo Gatti gets up from a solid liver shot, which never happens. I never in a million years. I thought David was going to take the Stefan Bonner shit, but you're a dick. Yeah, but that's obvious. I know, but that's still one of the best fights. That's low hanging fruit, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I took it first. I know. I know. (laughs) So you dicks didn't get it later. All right. I knew it wouldn't still be there. uh, I guess that leaves uh, me, and I'm. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Uh, I've got to take one of my favorite ones I've ever seen, and that was uh, Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell 2. Okay. okay. That's, that's one of my favorites. Uh, now, uh, David, you get two in a row. Okay. Kevin Randleman, Fedor Emelianenko. Ooh. He gets dumped on his head, like suplexed on his head. Turns around four seconds later, submits him. <laughs> All he's, right. He's inv- invulnerable. Clay Guida... Versus oh. Roger Huerta. Yeah, that's another good. That's a good. That fu- is back and forth. That's that's what we were talking about. Like the back and forth, like grit, man. Both. Yeah. You never know who's winning. Like th- those are the fights you love. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. You don't even know who won at the end. Absolutely. That's those are two awesome, awesome fucking picks. Um, so I get, I get one. I'm debating right now what I want. I'm a I'm definitely a more a more MMA guy than I am a boxer, um, but I'm going to take uh, Evander Holyfield versus Mike Tyson. Hmm. The ear biter. The ear biter. Hmm. You think that was a good fight? 
<laughs> it was it was or, the, or that moment. It you was like history. That part? It was okay. history man. for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah. Holyfield. So was the, the OJ shit. trial. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. That was a great race that he was running from the cops. He yeah, won. That was sort awesome. Of. Yeah, anyway. that, that was a race, you know. They okay. call it a slow speed chase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeremy, you get two. Go. All right. Well, I am going to go with Marvelous Marvin Hagler versus Tommy Hearns. Okay. I knew you were going to do that one. And then, because uh, it was a great fucking fight, I don't care what anybody says, there was no luck involved, Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas. Yeah. Buster Douglas fought Solid. a very good fight. I mean... He came in with a solid game plan, and he executed it. Yeah. That's a good one. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go MMA on this one. Uh, I am going to go Dan Henderson versus Michael Bisbing. Oh, solid. Uh, Yeah. That's one of the best moments. Fucked up his eye permanently. One of the best (laughs) moments for America. No, no, man. (laughs) Just a fucking... Just a big fuck you at the end. That's right. All right. Well, Dave, you get two. These are your last two picks. All right. And they work together. Okay. Okay. So, Mirko Kokop, legend, Mm -hmm. fought Alexander Emelianenko. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mirko Kokop knocks him out. Mm -hmm. Later on in the same tournament, we have Mirko Kokop versus legendary brother... Fedor. Fedor. Yeah, that's a good one. And he one. redeems his brother's loss. Yeah. Man, it, the story, it, it's, it was just amazing. It was a damn good fight. Yeah. Very, it, definitely worth a rewatch. Yeah. So those are your two? Those are my two. Okay. Um, okay, if you, were to, if you were to look at me, Dave, and say, if you were to guess, who is my favorite MMA fighter of all time? Who do you think it would be? Um, someone smaller than you. Very true. <laughs> totally. 100%. <laughs> I think he's actually my okay. Size. Okay, Henry Cejudo. No, my close. Mouse? Also close. And my TJ Dillashaw. No, probably one of the best fight, two best fights. You could pick either one of them. Frankie Edgar, Gray Maynard. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Yes, dude. Yeah. Yes, yeah, dude. I love both of those fights. Th- they were fucking awesome. Just bangers. Yep. yep. Love slanging Frankie. leather. Frankie's my boy. I don't care. Keep on going. But yeah, yep, there's a lot of good ones. Okay, you get last pick, douchebag. Um, <laughs> it's obviously him. <clears throat> Robin Ventura, Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Robin Ventura, Nolan Ryan. Is that how you're gonna win the fucking? Yeah, I'm going to Nolan Ryan. <laughs> Apparently, if you pick Nolan Ryan for any category, you automatically win. People love Nolan Ryan. Come on. You can't do you Right, because I know can't. we specified. I'm going to actually go back to MMA. Okay. I, I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. Uh, Anderson Silva and Chael Sonnen. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's a good one. Yes. No, for sure. Oh, uh, man. I was pulling for Chael, and he dominated that entire oh, God, yes. fucking fight. But Silva never fucking gave up, and no. he got sloppy for a yeah. second. Justice. So crazy. Yeah, that was an excellent fight. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of honorable mentions. Can you think of some honorable mentions? I've I've got uh I would I refuse to pick uh Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor one or two. I won't do it. Um but uh Ortiz Ken Shamrock was one that was up there. Original Wanderlei Silva versus Rampage Jackson. Yeah, that's a good one too. Jeez, oh no, what was the one in Pride? Uh, the American guy versus the big old fucking Japanese dude. Um, oh, that seven foot? Yeah. Dan, seven two. Was it Dan Severn? I think so, yeah. No, it wasn't Dan Severn. Hold on. That's the one where he just kept kicking him they, in the fucking no, leg? No, they just kept on they punching. Just, oh. They were just going back and forth. They're just, just smacking each just other. Just to see who can outlast each other. And it was fucking awesome. Um, let's see. America. <laughs> I'll be able to find it. Uh, let's see. Is Don, if you look is up Don American Fry. Japanese, you're going to get Don, me is Don, is John Fry. That's is what Don Fry versus a Japanese name. <laughs> I don't yeah. Uh, I'll fucking pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Don Fry and uh, Yoshihiro. Takayama? Takayama, yeah. Takayama. Yep. Okay. Yep, there we go. Don Those Fry, are. Takayama. If you just want to see people pound each other's face in, that's with, there's yeah. no technique at all. No. Right? They grabbed each other's head, and they're just bashing each other's head in. Go on. It was awesome. That was a good one. Did yeah. you have any uh, honorable mentions? Uh, I know that there's been some good fights. Uh, Rashad Evans and Rampage Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Jones and Shogun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, of course, you know, I mean, Ollie Frazier. 
Mm-hmm. All three of them were pretty good. Um, that's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Hagler. God damn it. I'm thinking, uh, no, Hennon Burrell and TJ Dillashaw. Yeah. The first one. Definitely. Was a fucking awesome fight. Okay. TJ Dominic Cruz. Or, yeah, or Dom. That Jose, was... Jose Aldo uh, originally versus, versus uh, Conor McGregor. Yeah, Jack that Dempsey, was Max crazy. That, that was, was, one that punch. was a game changer. Done. So. Dempsey and Schmeling. <laughs> German. You know, back in my day. German and Rickles. Any present versus <laughs> stairs. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Why uh, do they always make such a big deal that? Like, I don't dude, what do you fucking have to walk perfect your whole life? <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking FDR had a real hard time. <laughs> <laughs> As I take a drink of my beer. I love it. All right. Now we get to move on to uh, the, uh, the end of our show. And my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, folks. <laughs> um, on December 29th of 1890, uh, the 7th Cavalry, U.S. Cavalry, was escorting uh, a tribe of Lakota Indians to their reservation camp. Um, that night when they stopped to make camp, the reserves of the 7th Regiment uh, was under the the impression that these Lakota Indians had taken the 7th Regiment hostage. So they surrounded the camp and uh, attempted to disarm them. Unfortunately, one of the Lakota rifles went off and the firing then commenced. By the time the shooting was done, over 300 Lakota Indians lay dead in what would be known as the Wounded Knee Massacre. Oh, God. And now your children can recreate that entire scene (laughs) using nothing but their imagination and Legos. (laughs) Legos, let's hit the nickel slot. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, this week's shitty situation is inspired by our guest, Mr. David the Cape Man Rickles. Um, whenever you are going into a fight, would you rather still have um, too much Viagra to where you have a rock hard boner during a fight, or you took too much laxative to now you're shitting yourself during a fight? Definitely go in with a full fledged boner. <laughs> <laughs> If you shit your pants in a fight, you're out. Yeah, the fight's yeah. over. That <laughs> you can have a boner, as far as I know. So I'm pretty sure. So pretty much, uh, that makes it really easy for me if I ever have I to. I just get... go by the book. What's legal? Okay, that's it. All right. So there's been a, there's been a lot of talk of uh, of people wanting you and me to spar. With uh, boners? So, no. By, by, the, by the way, you know who brought up that talk? Scotty. <laughs> no. Scotty announced it was going to happen. No, I didn't. Because I, I think drunkenly he talked talked to you about it and you had mentioned it or something. I or He know. said, I want to spar with you. And you were like, yeah, okay. And <laughs> it's going to happen, everybody. <laughs> Man, it's really going to happen. And now I know that if it ever does happen, all I have to do is shit myself because on this show, we've talked about it many times, you ever want to get out of any? Anything, shit your pants. Yeah. So that's effective, what I got. Effective strategy. Yeah. I, <laughs> I would definitely not touch you if you shit your pants. See? I, I also, <laughs> I hate to do this, but I'm going to agree with Scotty. Uh, that might be the best submission move that you could ever do <laughs> is to shit on your opponent. Um, however, if you go in with a boner, there's no way you're going to win because that means you had sex at some point. And uh, as we all know, women weaken legs. <laughs> all right. And so. Basically, um, you know, I can't even fake then having a big dick. They're going to see what I'm packing. <laughs> totally. if, I got, if I got the laxatives, they know everybody poops. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Guys, check out – I got a question. Do you, Can you watch the fight on TV? Yeah, so app? we're streaming live from Boom. Fight TV. There That's you go. It. Fight TV. Download the app. Search Evolution Fighting Championship. It might even be other ap- acronym EFC. Yeah. So, yeah, check but, it out. But they are actually selling tickets. This isn't a COVID no. protocol no. thing. They're, no. they're actually letting... Full capacity? Full capacity. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know if it's full capacity, okay. but we're going to have upwards of 3,000 people. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, check it out. Uh, June 26th, David the Caveman Rickles back in action here in Wichita, Kansas. So if you're in the Wichita, Kansas area, definitely go and check it out. Um, He's going to kick some ass. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, but thank you so much. Every single time you come here, it's always an e- excellent episode. Yes. We still have your fucking nunchucks that Jeremy had you sign on our desk. <laughs> they are still here. We would actually like to have you host the show <laughs> for permanent <laughs> right. from now on. <laughs> yeah. Um, and get Scotty. We just want you minding the ones and twos. Yeah. Get right. the fuck out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, But again, thank you so much. We sincerely do appreciate it. All of you guys out there, thank you guys so much. Keep on what you're doing. Uh, Keep uh, liking our stuff, sharing our stuff uh, if you like us. But if you don't like us... I hope you have to drink from Dave's sauna suit. (laughs) Oh, gross. (laughs) If you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time... Stay thirsty, my friends. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care.